Hi, hello, and welcome to my course, Science as Process and Perspective. What is this course and who is it for? This is a crash course in the philosophy of science for researchers. It's for people who do research in the natural sciences, the social sciences, or the formal sciences. It doesn't matter. Historians as well. It's for researchers at an early stage, maybe students, who haven't really started doing research yet. It's for people who are not researchers, but are interested in how research is done, what knowledge it generates, and all these kind of questions in general. It does not require any knowledge, previous knowledge in philosophy. It does not require you to be an expert in any field of science. It just requires you to have a sort of a general sort of high school level background um, in science education, no more than that. What is this course good for? I think it's a real shame that researchers today do not get any philosophical sort of lectures or classes anymore at the university level in many, many countries. There are a few exceptions, but a vast majority of people who do research today have never had any sort of philosophy classes. Um, that cover, you know, the philosophy of science, the philosophy of research, the philosophy of knowledge. I think this leaves us with a huge gap that affects both the way we do science personally and also the way we organize institutions for doing science. So we're going to cover topics that are supposed to make you a better scientist. At the same time, we cover topics that have to do with how science is organized and how it could be maybe improved. We also will cover topics, and that's the main sort of focus of the course, of how, you know, epistemological questions, how knowledge is generated, and what we should know about this. These lectures that I put online here are only part of the course. They are discussion starters. If you get this course to your institution, they will be supplemented by five plus two discussion sessions, five different modules of discussions about topics such as what I call the standard view of science. What is that and how does it fall short of explaining what science actually does? Scientific perspectivism. How can we combine the fact that knowledge is constructed with a realist attitude towards scientific knowledge? What is the process of doing science? And how is that process embedded in its societal, historical and political um, sort of context? We have a fifth module that covers the questions that students bring. And then we have two follow-up models, modules that follow the course one and two months after the course. Write me an email if you're interested in getting the course to your institution. In the meantime, you can just watch these lectures with our, are all available for free on my YouTube channel. As I said, they're supposed to do uh, start a discussion. They're not, what this course is not trying to do is give you a sort of a semester long introduction to different approaches, different theories, the history maybe even of the philosophy of science. I can't do that. It's a crash course. So what it's designed to do is to make you think about what you're doing as a researcher. Rethink the questions you ask, the concepts you use, the methods, the approaches. Rethink your field and its limitations of the discussion that you have with colleagues. Rethink what it means to do interdisciplinary, transdisciplinary science. All of these are questions that are um, hopefully making you a better scientist by being a philosophically informed scientist. These lectures are also supposed to, to, to prepare you for some changes that may come to science in the following decades, really necessary changes that are happening and then are starting right now. And last but not least, these lectures are supposed to contextualize the science that you're doing, allow you to situate it in your particular context. So the main focus on these lectures, in these lectures is on questions, your questions, the questions that you bring in, and more importantly, even the answers that you have to those questions. So it's trying to be a different kind of philosophy course. I am not a philosopher. I am a scientist. 
I look at philosophy from a scientist's perspective. What does it do for me? And that's what I'm trying to get across here. I do hope I've piqued your interest. Philosophy is an extremely important and useful tool for you as a researcher. And if you're interested, please go on and check out the lectures. The first one is my personal story about how I, as a scientist, got into philosophy. I'm supposed to give you a specific example of how philosophy can inform and shape scientific questions, a scientific trajectory of exploration. If you're not interested in that, you can skip right ahead to the next lecture, which tells you about philosophy and science and how to interact. And then we go into the standard view of science which I will deconstruct, replacing it with more up-to-date ideas from the philosophy and also the sociology of science. I hope you enjoy this course. Please leave feedback on the website, YouTube channel here, direct message on Twitter at the address that's on this slide. You can email me to the email address that's written down here. And if you're interested, you can check out my blog, and all the kind of lectures and courses that I offer on my personal website. URL is also indicated here on this slide. I hope to see you around. Thanks for listening. Bye now.